What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is Sports Monkey, and I'm here today in part four of Springfield. As you can tell, we are going down the road. We are in a hot dog car going back to the box factory. I'm not sure why a hot dog car went back to the box factory. Anyway, so we are back here in Springfield and let's empty that garbage. For today, I would like to actually build the ore industry and possibly the oil industry, but we'll try to be conservative. So, um, now what we'll do first is we do need to get the ore. I did unlock another square. The ore industry is over here. So we are going to put a lot of ore over here and, the, and there is oil. So we have to be careful because maybe we want both industries in this area. So... What I'm going to do is build up the ore industry over here and we'll see how well I do. So let's start it off. Now I do want, I did want a, a highway system to go through here, but I decided against that. I'm going to use this highway system once I unlock that, those squares up there and just kind of loop it around. So we'll have easier access to the industry. So what we're going to do is keep it very simple. See this, this avenue, we are going to extend it across the way. Then we are going to come over here. We're going to get some curved roads. And there you go. All right. We are in the ore. We are near the ore. Now, here is where the ore is. So now I do need to create, like I did with the forest industry and farming, we do need to paint the district. So let's paint it. Now you need to be careful not actually get the oil industry that we might want to utilize later on. But for right now, um, we're just painting the ore industry and just kind of being a little careful about it. So there, that is that. All right, now we do need to go over here and click on the ore specialization. Now we need to paint the industry part itself. I, again, I did not create this. City Skylines did, so don't. Don't get mad at me. I do have to do the double districts. I do not know why we have to double district, but whatever. All right, we are gonna create the ore industry and we're gonna, as you can tell, I have a lot more money. I literally have not done anything to the game. I maybe played by played. I sat here thinking about what, you know, I was gonna do for this episode for about four or five minutes. All right, so we are in the ore district. Beach, what is it called? Beachland. All right, we will call that Beachland. So what we're gonna do is kind of do what we did with with oh there we go. Kind of like what we did with the other industries. I do want to kind of make it a curved road, and you'll see what I'm gonna do next. Kind of make it like a loop. There's that. There you go. Just kind of loop it around. I know that kind of. All right, so we have that, and so what we're going to do, so since the ore is up here, we're just going to put smaller roads up here. It is a mountain, so that's also why I really didn't want to put an avenue here, because I'm actually not sure how this is going to go. I guess it's not really a mountain. Okay, I guess it's more, I guess it's more or less a hill. All right, so let's go in here. We're going to go to straight paths and go out to here and go diagonally here. All right, so we're going to go this way, slanting this way, because the ore in that's where the ore is, as you can tell. I've already checked the map a couple times on it. So let's leave some decent amount of space. I would curb those roads, but guess what? Uh, fitting something that's rectangular into those areas would not be easy. So I've, ju I've decided just to main you know make sure that you know it's we're using straight roads. I don't know if. It might be the slope might not work with the work over here, but we're going to try our best. So we have over there and then I believe down here they also have it. So let's check exactly where. So right around here. So let's create a few more side roads over here. There's that. Perfect. Just leave some distance because you'll see exactly why in a couple minutes. All right, so we have this in place. Let's see if we can put a road like that. Okay, I I don't know if over here where we, I just put roads, I'm not sure if that 
slope will be too steep. But anyways, all right. So what do we do when we first start an industry? We have to put a main building. So let's put that over here, kind of off to the side. Nothing too crazy. Now, we do need to put pipes and all that stuff, but we will get to that later. So over here, we have to add the... I'm just looking at the exact uh, the small the small ore mine so we'll put it over here let a few of those weirdly enough they all were okay with the slope which I actually am kind of shocked about not gonna lie I'm a little shocked about that but that's okay that's that is not a problem and so we also do have to add water pipes that's that's good electricity though is gonna kind of be a pain to put up here but I'll think about that I'm gonna think about that in a couple minutes I'm just gonna keep adding these pipes um while I'm adding these pipes and it's not necessarily most entertaining time thank you guys for liking and subscribing and watching anybody on ps4 or Xbox welcome uh, this is the part four where we're adding another industry to our city as you can tell we're making a lot of money um, our city is well on its way to be very successful so if this is your first time watching welcome and um, you know all I've been doing this is the fourth part of this entire series and honestly I've just been trying to show everybody how to make money successfully in this game I've watched a lot of YouTubes a lot of youtubers and I've noticed that they tend to struggle starting. Um, I've seen power lines hug entire neighborhoods on YouTube with people's uh, <laughs> with people's uh, you know videos that they post and stuff like that. So th these videos are just supposed to help you, kind of like tutorials. Uh, they're supposed to be very basic. Um, right now, I have done no detailing in the city. I'm just trying to show you what to do. So I have all the pipes in place now. I do need to connect them to the main city area. So this is going to be pretty far, but that's okay. Oh, that is, that is really far, but that's all right. Now we do need electricity. So I do, I think I am going to make a power plant up here of some sort. I think I'll put some coal, put a, put a coal plant. Now I know this is going to look silly. I am going to add some power lines. To it now when you add power lines look you don't need to go you don't need to go exactly you know like along the neighborhood even though that's what I'm doing right now because that all this won't probably be filled in which is fine but um you know I've noticed some people actually put legitimately like whole neighborhoods why won't that work oh and And this is City Skylines being... Oh, there it goes. Okay, perfect. All right, cool. So that has power and water. So now we do need to add the other buildings for the ore industry, what we have. Um, we do need an ore, um, an ore grinding mill, and that I believe that's all we can get, and storage. So we're going to put the ore grinding mill. We're going to put four of those. I, I don't know why I always like adding four buildings, but that's just the thing I have. And I understand that that our mines are up there. Don't worry because eventually this will all grow. And then I'm gonna add a couple. Uh, I do wanna stay away from there because we can potentially add mines over there. And this is just for storage. Oh, and we're saving. Xbox One is automatically saving. So sorry about that little hold up. Let's just add one more storage area actually I'm gonna put the other storage area over there just move it so we'll have storage over there now let's see they should have water I don't know what oh no they don't oh I forgot I did not do the entire all right well while I'm piping up uh, you know thank you so again I want to thank everybody who's been watching thank you um, if you're new to this channel please remember to like subscribe and comment I do appreciate all the growth that we've seen. A lot of other people have noticed it. Like we are doing an awesome job. We're up to 105 uh, subscribers. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, just you know, keep liking, keep subscribing, keep hitting that like button. I appreciate everything you're doing. So let's keep this channel growing, and um, you know, let's see what we can make it. So awesome job, guys. Appreciate it. Slam that like button. Thank you very much. I do appreciate everything. So, 
Now, as you can tell, our our ore trucks are coming in. Look at that. They are coming. Well, they're going into storage, but that's okay. Um, so that's fine for the time being. So it took us only 11 minutes. And I, like, I, like I mentioned before, I will want a highway connection here eventually. And we can put oil, but just not yet. Oh, and let's take care of some of our issues within the city. So we do have one of these, an incinerator. We need a couple of them. These landfills have done absolutely nothing for us, I'm going to be honest with you. They have been a nightmare from the get-go. Alright, so that should take care of that. All of our trash issues. Now we do need to add some residential because look at how much demand we have for it. So let's, let's grab this avenue. Oh, we can't necessarily. Okay, now let's grab this avenue and bring it over. Perfect. So um, now we do have a demand for workers. Uh, that's probably because we need a. T we have a ton of demand for residential. So let's get that taken care of immediately, and then we'll go from there. All right. So we have this avenue. I don't look how close there. I don't. I don't like that. So what? What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to curve it. Just curve it. I'm going to connect it this way though. Just to kind of create something a little different. So we're going to create a neighborhood over here. And I might also just extend... Uh, move this over. Give me a second. There's that. Okay, I am going to bring another avenue from over here. Nope, straight line. Alright, and then we don't need an extremely massive... There we go. I didn't want it to go too crazy. I'm going to be honest with you. I did not want that to go too crazy. So we'll p go straight across here. Now we're going to build a little neighborhood over here. Nothing too crazy. It's still going to be suburbs. Uh, what I've decided is to our left is going to be our city center that, you know, that we don't, we didn't, we don't have it unlocked, but so we're going to maintain the suburbs over here, which is absolutely fine. Which is not a big deal at all. So let's, uh, let's just put kind of like, Almost like well, we can almost grid this. Even though I don't love, you know, grids do look kind of boring. I'll, I think we all know that. But I'm just gonna try to utilize this space as best as possible, and try to not get so many. There we go. There's that. Perfect. So we're just and we're gonna fill this in in about two seconds. We will need to add water, and I will probably connect the coal plant from the ore industry just so we have power and whatnot. Let's see. All right. Perfect. All right, so we're going to fill this in, and then I have a couple more things on my agenda because we're only 15 minutes into this episode. So let's fill this in. Wow, we used a lot of money. I did not see that coming. All right, there's that. Now we will need to connect the pipes in a matter of a couple seconds, so give me a second. All right, let's connect the pipes over here. We will need electricity, so let's also bring that those power. Should I just bring them across? Let's just bring it across. Let's just bring the power lines across. Now let's fill that in <sighs> with everything we need. So um, since we do have a major avenue, we are gonna fill in, fill this in with commercial which is not a big deal which that actually works out great um again if you did not hear my other tutorials uh the residents do not like biz living on busy avenues so they will complain about noise and whatnot so you, so putting commercial is actually a great idea to fill the commercial up and do not put residential on those major avenues so just warning you guys about that so be careful when you guys build commercial. I need to turn off those notifications. They are really killing me. They're so annoying. 
All right, now let's add some residential. I guarantee you we're going to need to add schools. I'm pretty almost 100% positive. Now, I do know that I added residential over there. Um, that That's not a main road of our city, so I think we'll be okay. Like, the other, the other streets, or, the, like, this other avenue to my right, that's, like, really a main avenue that I expect a lot of traffic to go down. The main avenue, or the avenue to the left, I really don't expect that much traffic. It shouldn't be too torturous. That's my guess. I could be way wrong, but, you know, that is... That is my guess. That is my prediction. I could be wrong, I could be right, but that's just my guess. There you go. Alright, so now we do need to add some parks and stuff like that. Add some parks. We're going to add some schools also because I, I feel really positive that we're going to... We probably need schools. That's... I don't know if that's the case, but nope, we're good, and we're really good. So I might just, I'm not even going to, I don't even need to add the elementary school. So that's good. We're filling that in. So what I also wanted to do is I built a bus depot a long time. Whoa, okay. We need workers to get to work. That's, that's exactly what I was actually going to help with next. Okay. So we need employees to get to work, all right? As you can tell, what I did was I built a bus depot. I am not really sure where I placed the bus depot. I just know it's here. I know that sounds really dumb. I just know it's somewhere here, but I'm gonna build some bus lines, all right? So let's get people to work. So, oh, nope, I don't want that one. Let's click over here. We'll have a stop here. We'll have it go in this neighborhood, basically. A little, a little bit of a loop. Then we'll have it go over here. Towards our industrial. There you go. We'll have that little loop. And then we'll let it come back over here. Go over here. And then we'll close out that loop. Now, we need to do that for over here and over here. So give me one second. Let's, let's just go over here. There's that. Perfect. Just keep adding these lines. And then we can do the same thing we did over here. Just add a couple bus stops on this side. Actually, let's link over here, too. Might as well, right? Because the bus will have to go back. Yeah, the bus has to come back here anyways. And then somehow it's going to turn itself around. Okay, so it's going to use over there and turn itself around. Okay, perfect. So we did add bus lines, so this should definitely help get employees to work. Um, what I also will do is okay I have that that should be okay then um, what I'm gonna do is add some paths so they they can actually walk to work what I mean by that is I'm gonna have these paths over here I'm gonna get a path over here there you go all right what other spots can we all right so we can use that's a road though um, You know what, though? I might... Alright, get out of that. Now, I'm going to add another road that goes across. There's that. Oh, perfect. We just want more residents to be able to get to work, and this is definitely a really good way. So, we have one, two, three three little access lines then we have these paths that the people can walk oh well you can't see where my hand but they can walk up and then go on the bridge and get, get to work so that should help and it, it doesn't before you freak out give it a little bit of time for it to fill in it will be okay so 
We are at the 20 minute mark of the episode. What I also want to do is upgrade some of our industries. So I want to start out with the farm industry. So we do need to add a couple, a few things farming wise that I didn't add last time. So we added these worker barracks last time. We then, what did we leave off on? We, we created a cattle shed. Let's build a couple more of those. One, two, all right. Then let's add a, a couple more of these flour mills, which should be, work out great. It should be okay traffic wise, because it shouldn't, it should, now oh, the key is, it shouldn't be that bad. It shouldn't be, at least not yet. Then we also have the milking parlor. So we're, I think we should make another row for that, but kinda, kinda off to the side over here. I like that. Perfect, so we'll put a couple of those over here. And then a small barn, we can do that over here also. We'll add a small barn. There we go. Not enough money. Well, guess what? I've been expanding at a very high rate. Let's just take out a loan and get some extra money to do this because I don't feel like waiting. Then we'll put a couple of these barns over here that, for storage. So now we, we do need to get pipes and everything. Now, when you guys are building your city, you guys can be a little bit more patient than I was right there. You don't need to take out the loans. All you'd have to do is wait a couple minutes. Like, look it. We're making $20,000 a day. If I waited a couple minutes or a couple seconds, I would be fine money-wise, which I still am. But the thing is, is I'm creating this video and I just need to build everything kind of on demand. So, um, you know, that worked out really well. Um, we're making a lot of money. So we have all the buildings. Now, I do want to create a couple more medium-sized fruit fields. Yep, let's create a couple medium-sized ones. So those are the small ones. Wait, those are the small ones. So let's put a couple medium ones. Eventually, we're going to move these to large ones, but we don't have those yet. So I think that's all the meat. Nope, we can add a couple medium and as you can tell, the medium uh, plantations and the medium, um, yeah, so the, me oh, sorry, medium crop crop fields and the medium fruit fields, uh, they, they bring in 80 tons of, 80 tons of product each day, or per week, rather. Matt, if you just read everything, you would be fine. But anyways, um, and we just up, <laughs> just update. We just got to the fourth star, so let's see what we unlocked. The slaughterhouse. All right, let's build one of those. So, um, yes. So so far we are doing really well. I have no complaints with how quickly the city is going. It's been fantastic. It's actually just been going a little faster than I thought, which is not a big deal. But money-wise, we need we need everything to catch up. So right now, you could tell. Let's see how much money our farm is making. Our farm needs way more crops. Although I don't believe that's kicked in what we just added, because that doesn't make any sense. But um, like money-wise, I think it's more than just that, but uh, we're losing $2,000, which I find that hard to believe, but we can check back on that later. But um, anyways, so that is updating our farms. And, um, you know, so we are all set with that. And you could tell, see all these jobs filled in because we added those roads. So that's really perfect. So that's really good news. So, um, you know, we're at the 25 minute mark. So we are all set for today. Um, you know, I just want to show you guys what we did. We built the ore industry, which I don't think we really needed that much space for ore, but we'll see later on. I might actually cut that back a lot, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. This is our small ore mine. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember, hit that like, subscribe, and comment button. I do appreciate that. And, um, you know, this is Springfield. This is part four. 
Um, you know, so we, next episode we'll probably go into the oil industry. But thank you guys for watching. Please remember, my name is Sports Monkey. Have a great rest of your day.